Welcome back friends. We are talking about uh, the translation or protein synthesis process in prokaryotes and uh, we have seen the overview of protein synthesis process in the previous video. Now in this video we will be talking about the initiation of protein synthesis in prokaryotes. Right? So the phases, initiation is one of the most important part of this whole protein synthesis or translation process. Now the initiation part I can divide into two different sections actually. One is the tRNA charging which is very important prior to the initiation of protein synthesis or translation. And uh, second thing is uh, the initiation complex formation that is also very important. So let us begin with uh, this understanding. The first thing is the tRNA charging because remember the initiation if you can see my previous video about the introduction. I will encourage you to go and watch that video first because introductory video is always very very important. So watch that then come here and watch this video. So we have already seen that uh, the important materials for this protein synthesis and that is the mRNA, then the ribosome and then the tRNA and also some kind of translation factors. Now in initiation what we uh, begin with this tRNA which is very important. Now the function of tRNA what we know is that tRNA brings, so if I, if I draw a kind of structure let us say like the kind of tRNA structure normally it will look something like this, something like that or let us say like this, okay. So this is the tRNA structure. In this tRNA, the bottom loop that we see, this is called the anticodon, anticodon loop. Anticodon means this loop is having a complementary base sequence that is present in the codon. Codon means the sequence of nucleotide that is present in the mRNA. So this anticodon can pair with the mRNA sequence which is having 3 nucleotide codon. Okay, so mRNA's job here is to carry amino acid sequences and there are 20 types of amino acid sequences in our body to be carried and for that reason there are 20 different types of tRNA that are present in our body for specific for a particular amino acid for each. So what happens actually those amino acids will be added to this ACC, this particular section of this trans, I mean transfer RNA okay. So for that reason for that amino acid normally the amino acid is present in our body it is produced after all this metabolic pathway amino acid is there in our body. tRNA is also present there in our body but now the thing is tRNA should be added with the amino acid. So how could the amino acid will be added with tRNA and that part is called as a tRNA charging machinery. Now this charging machinery occurs in two different stages. Right? The first stage of charging is the addition of adenine or adenylation of the amino acid. So first thing is the adenylation, adenylation of the amino acid. That means normally what we have, we have ATP and that ATP will interact with the amino acid and as a result what will form? It forms adenylated, adenylated amino acid that means the adenine group of ATP. This is the group that adenine group of ATP is now added to amino acid and that is important. Why? Because amino acid itself cannot pair or attach with the tRNA attachment site. It requires the presence of adenine for this attachment. So that is why here the adenylation takes place and during that process pyrophosphates release because only adenosine monophosphate is added there and two other phosphates are released outside as pyrophosphate or PPI. So that is the adenylation, the first stage of tRNA charging. Now the second stage of tRNA charging is the transfer of this adenylated amino acid to the tRNA. So transfer of adenylated amino acid to the tRNA, okay. So now this adenylated amino acid will be transferred here to the tRNA and how this process will work? 
Now, for this process to work properly, the, adena, the amino acid that we see here, if I draw a basic structure of this amino acid, let's say it will look something like this, R group, and let's say there are some other uh, structures out there. Let's say that there's presence, right? CO something, for example. So this is the structure of the amino acid. Now this amino acid will be added to this particular section. Now during this process of addition, so now tRNA is here and there is a particular structure in tRNA over there that is called the 3 prime section of the tRNA, two different obviously like uh, any other thing because tRNA is having an internal fold that is why you look at this structure like this otherwise they are kind of joined. So it is also having 5 prime as, as well as 3 prime. So the 3 prime section of the tRNA, that section that there is a ribose sugar also present. Now that sugar is also having the hydroxyl group remember at, at the 3 prime section hydroxyl group is present in the tRNA ribose sugar if I draw the ribose sugar structure sorry here at the 3 prime there is a hydroxyl group sorry here is a hydroxyl group that is present 3 prime. So that hydroxyl group that is present at the 3 prime that hydroxyl group will interact with this right. So at, as a result this amino acid is now attached with this 3 prime section of the tRNA transfer RNA. How? Actually this, this amino group, the lone pair of electron is present in this N and that is acting as a nucleophile, nucleophile. So it creates a nucleophilic attack, it attacks the carbon. As a result, they can form this group. So ultimately, they, this amino acid is added with the trans, I mean, transfer RNA and the portion of transfer RNA that is ACC. So that is how the tRNA charging is occurred, right. Two stages, first is the adenylation of amino acid, second is the addition of amino acid, adenylated amino acid with the tRNA. Now during this process, remember the amino acid is also having adenosine added. Now during this process, that adenosine monophosphate is released outside. So these are the stages of tRNA charging and in all this process of tRNA charging, this tRNA charging is carried out by enzymes, right, amino acyl tRNA enzyme is there which is doing all this process here, right. So that is called the tRNA, remember, synthetase, this is the enzyme and it is also called as amino acyl tRNA synthetase because the adenylation all these things are going on. So it is called as amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme. This one enzyme is enough to do both the stages. So this enzyme is catalyzing both these reactions to finally produce the charged tRNA. So once we know how the tRNA is charged, now what is the overview? The tRNA is having amino acid of its interest, right? It is having the anticodon loop here. And now we have mRNA with codons. So what we need to do, we need to scan for codons, bring the right amino acid in using the transfer RNA, joining them together and produce peptide bonds. So now let us look at the initiation stage of this process.